What's up everyone and welcome back to the comms channel. Just a quick video for you here today showing another experiment with the space station's voice repeater and APRS digipeter. If you've seen our previous two videos, you know that there is a recent update to the HT app made by VGC and used by radios like the VRN76, BTEC UV Pro, and the new VRN7600. This app update now allows these radios to change the current frequency to adjust for Doppler shift when doing SATCOM work. We won't go into what that is or why in this video since it was already covered in the first of those two videos and recommend you watch those to learn more. Now if you're a GMRS user, you may be familiar with a few GMRS radios from BTEC we've covered here on the channel, which would be the GMRS Pro handheld and the GMRS Pro 50 mobile radio. Now you may or may not know that these radios are based off of radios from VGC. The GMRS Pro, for example, is based off the VRN75, and the GMRS50 Pro is based off the VRN7600. Because of this, these radios will actually work with the HT app that's made for the ham radios. And with the new SATCOM feature available in the app, just for giggles, I decided to test this feature out with the GMRS Pro and GMRS 50 Pro and see if it would work. And sure enough, it does appear to work on both of them. So with an upcoming pass of the space station, I took the GMRS Pro handheld out to first test if I could receive voice comms and then see if I could receive APRS traffic from the space station. Now, APRS on these GMRS radios from BTEC is something we've covered in previous videos, but if you're unaware, these radios have a built-in TNC because they use VGC's BSS protocol for sending and receiving GPS position data and text messages. This TNC is also compatible with APRS. And while these are GMRS radios that can't transmit on the ham radio frequencies, they are capable of receiving, decoding, and displaying APRS data. So for the first test, I got everything set up using the same process for the ham radios covered in the previous videos and set the radio outside just before the space station was flying over with a pass with good enough elevation and waited. Sure enough, the voice comms started coming in and picked them up pretty well for just using the antenna that comes with the radio. So with that test being successful, I switched over to the space station's APRS frequency to see if I could pick up APRS traffic. Now this test was unsuccessful however, and it wasn't able to pick up any APRS traffic. Now I suspect that is largely due to the antenna. With this being a GMRS radio, they're likely using an antenna that's better suited for the GMRS frequency range around 462 and 467 megahertz, which isn't too far off from the 437.8 megahertz, which is the voice downlink frequency that the space station uses. Now the APRS frequency is much further away at 145.825 megahertz. And even though the bottom of the antenna shows a VHF frequency range of 136 to 174 megahertz, the antenna does seem to be a better performer in the UHF range as seen in this test. So what can be done to receive better on the APR side? Well, not much since the antenna on the GMRS Pro is not removable and totally isn't just held on by a little bit of glue that can be removed with a bit of force. Now, if it was, it would allow you to attach a better antenna, like this one from Nagoya that I use on my BTEC UV Pro that covers the 2 meter ham radio band and would pick up the APRS frequency much better. And since the antenna is totally not removable, here's an artist's rendition of what removing the antenna and putting on the Nagoya antenna would look like. Now, even though it's completely pointless since the antenna is totally not removable, we'll include an affiliate link to this antenna in the video description below. Just know that this is a ham radio antenna, so it's not really meant for transmitting on GMR's frequencies. Now, Nagoya also makes a very similar antenna that is tuned for transmitting on GMR's frequencies. I don't have one to test with, but the antenna is very close to the ham radio version, so I suspect that it'll do a much better job receiving the 2 meter ham radio band than the totally not removable antenna that the radio comes with. Since this antenna is better suited to 4A GMRS radio, we'll also include an affiliate link to this antenna for no reason since the antenna is totally not removable on the GMRS Pro. 
Now an update from the editing desk. While working on this video, there's an upcoming pass of the space station with good enough elevation to test with. And we wanted to do an artist rendition of what a pass of the space station would look like if the totally not removable antenna on the GMRS Pro was actually removable and had the Nagoya antenna installed on it. And as you can see here in these totally fake APRS messages and locations from this artist's rendition, the radio would totally be capable of picking up APRS packets from the space station if the totally not removable antenna was removed and replaced with an antenna like the Nagoya. But to close out this video, these GMRS radios from BTEC really stand out as my go-to choice for advanced GMRS use. With features like sending and receiving text messages and sharing position data over BSS, and even receiving APRS messages and location info from ham radios, they bring a level of functionality that you just don't find in most other GMRS radios. If you'd like to pick up one of these radios for yourself, we'll have affiliate links to these as well as the Nagoya antennas, even though the GMRS Pro antenna is totally not removable. That'll do it for this video though, and just thought this would be a fun little experiment, and I know we've been doing the SATCOM videos for the ham radios, but glad to see that the GMRS users can also join in the fun by being able to receive this stuff as well. Hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, be sure to share with anyone who may be interested in this video as well. Thank you all and have a good one.